Hello everyone. So sometimes you need to move your components across the screen. It could be a image, it could be a text or anything. So just a quick tutorial how to move this card from one point to another point in X axis and we are going to reverse it like this and this. So let's get started. And to save time I have just imported animated touchable without feedback an image or magnetic and a view which contain our view and touchable without feedback animated view and image which contain URI which I have let here you can also use var here and let me just take it a less so first of all we're going to make our state for our move animation so we are going to say move animation and it is going to take new animated object and value and we will start it by zero as you can see i have already set up on press this dot underscore move function and we are going to use this function to move our car and first of all we are going to make our animated dot timing value and going to say animated dot timing which is going to take over this dot state dot move animation state and another thing it is going to take is to value and we're going to say like 300 and timing how long it takes to move we're going to say 1000 milliseconds which is going to be one millisecond time and start our function and as you can see we have already set up our move animation function now we are going to set our styles so I'm going to say like move animation style and in this function we're going to use transform to move our car which is going to take an array of object and we're going to translate it to x axis so translate x which is going to take our straight this dot straight dot move animation and shift option format to go effect to the code you can also use prettier which is way 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 better but I will make tutorial about how to set up Prettier in Visual Studio Code but for now we are going to use shift option for F to format the code and we are going to apply these styles to our animated view so applying multiple styles we are going to take we have to use these brackets and move animation style so I have just successfully uh, completed this move animation function and our animated style and apply to our animated view and everything is already set up so code will be in description so let me just test out how it's going to take as you can see we have successfully translated to x axis so we have just moved our card from one point to another point now we are going to make this animation in reverse <coughs> so sorry we are going to just say like if this dot underscore move and else and i'm just copying it and paste it here and we are going to change our values this dot underscore move is equal to not this dot underscore move so what it is going to basically do if the value of move is true it's going to trigger first time to value 300 and else it's going to move our card back so move our card back we are not going to say like minus 300 
let me just show you what is going to happen if I'm going to keep these values as you can see car moved from 0 to 300 and if I again press this car goes far far away so we are just going to say to 0 which is going to give us the desired results like this so thank you for watching please subscribe like comment and share